Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of Mind API um, series. In this video I will show you how to do some recon on a specific target. Uh, in this case I will use a random um, Acker1 project which is uh, the, the brand 4 um, and that's it. So to start let's go to Mind API webpage, GitHub webpage, and then you can see a lot of things besides how it works, what is covered in this project. Uh, remember that Mind API it's not only a, a mind map tool, online mind map tool as you can see. I can zoom and everything, but you also have references that can help you out uh, on specific things. But let's go on the scope of this video, let's maintain on our play and let's do some recon. So, which is the first part uh, for a pen tester, a bug bounty hunter, to, um, to start with API analysis. So, uh, as you can see uh, on Mind API, you can identify the architecture, um, which is very nice. Um, you have the documentation, uh, you have automatic tools to, to wonder how is the architecture used by the specific API. Uh, in this case, I will use Google Docs, uh, so we can see if we can find some developer page uh, that can help us enumerate some endpoints after that and let's see, let's see how it goes. So uh, before that, a simple disclaimer, uh, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only, uh, testing without permission is illegal and punished by law. Um, for the sake of this video, we, I decided to choose Echoron project, Echoron platform and choose four. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to maintain inside the scope. I will not find anything interesting, by the way, it's just an example on how to use Mind API to create some flow, identifying, uh, in this case, recognition uh, to, to test the API itself. So let's go to Google and type siteford.com and maybe in URL API. Okay, so we have many of them, uh, which is weird because we have a lot of key A, which usually doesn't have good material, but we want something more uh, specific. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of them. Let's, let's open a, a something. Okay, you can find something here maybe. It's a little slow. Let's try to, maybe it's locked or something. Uh, um. Oh, this one else also seems interesting. Let's try it. Okay, you have some problems. Let's accept your certificate. So it seems like you have some endpoints here. It seems like REST stuff. Uh, ew, yeah. ASP.NET Web API, interesting. So we want to, to, to keep searching for these, these subdomains and going through the page, let's, let's jump some, some of them to see, oh, this is interesting. This is kind of interesting. You return a, a JAW token, mm, interesting. So. You have API, V1, mm, uh, okay, that's that's something we can work on maybe. Let's see if we can do like, remove this and start to find something. Oh, so let me go and see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's part of metadata, white label, okay. We've encountered an error, but let's see if we can get more information regarding this endpoint. So, what I will do, I'll go to my FFOF, an excellent tool. By the way, on this video, you will see on the description uh, the links for the tools I used, besides Mind API. Uh, so let's do some FFUF. 
oh, I think I need to do this, FFUF, uh, then you go to, uh, do, 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 I can't remember the, the tile, let me help out some here, okay, so I think it's minus U, okay, yeah, I understand, so let's go FF, let's clear the screen, FFUF, I love the name, FFUF minus U, oh, okay, I think I did not copy past the, what I wanted, so let's copy past this, and go to, to oh my, and then past it, let's go, oh, I don't, I can't remember if I think I have my, my word list with the slash in front of the word list, so let's try that. Uh, mm, I think it's twice. Uh, I have a, a, a documents with word list, word list, sorry, and I think I have two. Let me see, oh, it's Rocky U and Swagger. Let's see if th we can find some Swagger here. <laughs> so, done. Okay, uh, yeah, we can. We, we, it found something we can see on the status, but let's filter out with MC 200 and see if we go. Okay, so we uh, it's confirmed that basically we have a swagger here and we can try to copy this and go again to our browser and let's do this. Okay. Okay, so we have the Swagger file here. So what we can do now, and to to facilitate uh, our testing, it will be to import this uh, JSON to Postman. I can see you can see how it how I'll do it. So you go to the Postman. I already have opened the the. the application, you go to import, you click on link, okay, and you go past it here, continue, and yeah, you have two types and one open API, and that's it, importation complete, and now I think we have all the information needed, yeah, you have all the endpoints provided by just doing a, a small recon on the on Google using FFUF to enumerate some of the endpoints on this uh, subdomain by four, uh, and we import it to Postman, and then you can continue the tests by changing values, uh, import these to Burp, and try to do some. Um, more in-depth uh, investigation, but it's just a, a, a small uh, video on how to do this. Hope you like it and stay safe.